In this video, I want to show you how to use the concat function to create a custom data label like we have on this graph here. In Excel, we start with our regular data table. Uh, we have date, uh, month end date, and uh, an exchange rate that we're using for this example. And we're going to create a custom label called maximum label. And so what we want to do here is we want to have a data label that only shows up for the maximum value in the data series. And it has more than just uh, the number, the value, but it actually has a phrase maximum of the value on the date in a more readable format. And so here's the formula that we are using. Let's take a look at the formula. And the first part is if it's the maximum, that's standard. But I want to focus on how we create this customized data label. We're using a function called concat. What concat does is it will put together different text strings to create a single text string. And that's exactly what we're doing to create this custom data label. So it starts with maximum of, so anything that is just a text you want in, you put inside of quotation marks. You separate each of the values by a comma. So you'll notice here I have comma and then I have B9, which is the actual value. So you can include a number without having to do anything to it. You just put it in as part of the uh, various strings that are being concatenate, concatenated. Then we have a quote, space, on space. So notice you do have to include spaces within quotes if you want a space to be there because it won't add them automatically. And then we want to turn that date into a more readable format. So we use the text function. We say take that date and then turn it into this data format here, uh, which is the month as a, a, an abbreviated word, the day, and then the full year. So the concatenate puts all of that together if this is the maximum value, and indeed that's the situation here, it's the maximum value. So how do we add that to our graph? Well, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna select uh, my data here and do the simple insert a regular 2D line graph make this a little bigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my data series and then I'm going to add data labels. But I'm going to go to the more options because what we want is we want the data labels to contain the value from the cells, the cells that we calculated. So the, the label will only appear for the maximum because the rest of it, the if statement said if it's not the maximum then just put a null in there. So I'm going to select value from cells and ask you where where are the data label. Well we have to choose the entire range because we have the entire range of values on the graph selected. Click OK. Remove the uh, value because we don't need that. And now we've added this customized label at that particular spot. And the nice thing about using a formula as we did for this particular label calculation, is that if the maximum changes, the label is going to move and update its information. So for example, if I come down here and I say uh, a new maximum, let's say this was uh, 1.3742, what happens is you'll notice that the label automatically moves to the correct row, it moves in the graph, and that text got updated. So by using the concat function, we create this custom data label and by creating it as the only label in this particular set of cells, it will only appear at that maximum in our graph, customized exactly the way we want it to be. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.